Hey everybody, on this tip, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own bowstring. Now I know for some of you guys out there, this may be an advanced process, you know, it's a little bit advanced for you, but it's uh, still an interesting thing to know, and it's going to help you with putting things on your strings, such as peep sights and silencers. Okay, before we get started, we're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a serving jig, or some serving thread. We're going to need, have two different types of serving. We're going to have an end serving, which is going to go on the ends where the cams are at, and then we're going to have a center serving, which is a little bit tighter gripping type of serving because of the fact of the oscillation of the bowstring. Okay, for this video, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be using just standard B50 Dacron, but what I suggest a person use is a, a, a more of a performance string is the 452X. It's available on bowtunningtips.com in, this, in the uh, string building material section. All the stuff that we're using today is available there. Along with the, the jig for the serving and the two different types of uh, serving. What I've done is, is I've made my own string jig. Okay, What I did on the one end of my counter here is I've attached a 2 by 4 block that's 12 inches long and I've secured it down with uh, screws. You can either use screws or you can use a big clamp. And on the outside end I've got a screw with a smooth top of it. The top of the shank of the screw is smooth with no threads, so all the threads are buried into the wood, so there's nothing there to catch on the string as we wrap around. Okay? Now, on this end, I've got another block. As you can see, this block moves. And what this block is going to do is it's going to give us our tension that we need in order to get the string tight and kind of give it a pre-stretch, and it's going to hold it in place while we serve it. And in our tensioning device is something that probably everybody has, is we're going to use a ratchet strap. Okay, well the first thing that you want to do is you want to determine the length of the bowstring. Now, on a lot of bows, it's written right on the bottom limb on the sticker. It's going to have the manufacturer's string length, the poundage, the peak weight, the draw length, all that information is going to be there. But sometimes it wears off, sometimes that sticker comes off. The most surefire way of knowing what the string length is, is to remove it from your bow. You're going to have to do that anyway in order to get the serving in the proper spots that it needs to be on the string and the proper lengths. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our bow master. For you guys out there who don't know what that is, it's a, it's a bow press that are about 45 bucks or something like that. And you can press your bow down, take the strings off, change draw lengths. I mean, you can do a lot of things with it. The only thing that you can't do is you can't let the bow completely down in order to take the limbs off. But, you know, that's kind of an advanced point to go to. You really don't need... Not everybody just needs to uh, drop the limbs off. But this, all right, what you can see is we got plenty of slack. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach around, pop off the string, and uh, then we're going to. You got to be sure when you're doing this too that uh, you remember how to put it back on there. <laughs> okay, let's say for instance you don't know what the length of your string is. It's real simple. We're going to take one end of the loop where, the, where it goes over the pegs on the cams. And we're going to hook it onto the screw that we have in our board. We're going to walk it down. We're going to hook it to the other end of our adjustable board right here. As you can see, it's adjustable and it'll pivot out like so. And the reason I did that is so I can actually get some tension on this string. You can see I, can, I got a little bit of tension with using the ratchet strap. Okay, so right there we know that that's where our string length needs to be. Now, what you need to do is just, this is going to sit here because I put one single screw in it so it's not going to move. It's just easily as you can without moving this board as much as possible, go ahead and slide your other your string right off of there. Don't move it. Now the other side's locked down. It's not going to move. I'm going to start out, it's a single strand. Each one of these strands is about 100 pounds tensile strength. So, if you look at your bow string, you're going to notice that it's made up of a whole bunch of strands. Well, most of the time, if you read the strings, it's going to tell you how many strands to use. I always like to do 24 strands. And the reason is, is because it's an even number. And it's, it's an easy number to remember, 24. You know, 24 hours in a day. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start down here on the end where our bow string, or where our bow jig, is going to be solid. It's not going to move. And we're just going to take the string, we're going to make a loop like so around that screw head. And we're going to go ahead and just twist it around a little bit. 
Okay, then what we're going to do is you're going to walk back down to this other part of your jig. And you're going to go around it. Now, I'm going in a clockwise mo manner. I'm going around. Okay, now we're going to go back down to our other screw where our tag ends at. And this, you don't want to pull this tight, guys. Because if you do, you're going to end up messing up your length. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around this end here. We got our tag end. Actually dropped the tag end. I wasn't pulling at all. Okay, we're going to get our tag end. We're just going to let it lay on the floor because that's where it wants to go. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to go ahead and pull it again one more time around this end. Okay, we're going to we're going to keep count too because now that's th this is 3. Okay, now we got that pretty tight right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take up a little bit of the slack using this ratchet strap to go ahead and just hold this so we can get some strength we can pull on it. All you got to do is just take your ratchet strap, pick it up, and you're not looking for a whole lot of tension here. Just enough to keep it from moving. Now it moved a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and double check. I got my tape measure. I'm going to double check to see what the length has gotten to. Building a string is not that complicated. You just have to be sure that you get everything right. Okay, that's going to be really close to 98 and 5 eighths. All right, I told you I wanted it to be a little longer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and work the ratchet strap a little bit to move the board. All right, now we're going to check that length one more time. Because I want it to be about 99. And that's really close to 99 right there. Okay, we're going to go with that. I feel good about it. All right, now we've got four strands, okay? We got four strands to our bowstring. What we're going to do is, and we got six inches of the tag end hanging over on this side because that's going to be under the serving. When we serve this end, it's going to be under that serving. You want to be sure that that ends under the serving. If it sticks out a little bit, you can cut it off. Not a big deal. But we've got four times around, okay? And we're going to do a total of 12 before we change colors. So that's four. And now you can put a little tension in it. That's five. This is going to be six. Twelve. Okay, now be sure when you do it, go ahead and double check and count because sometimes I miscount. I'll get confused. And Okay, so we got twelve loops. Go ahead and take your knife and cut that off. Again, about six inches close to that other side. You want it to hang over so it can be under the serving. Okay, now we're going to change colors. Now, here's what I suggest on the changing of the colors. I think double colored bowstrings are just awesome myself. I think it really can make a statement. And if they're done right and you got them twisted up, they really look awesome. They look great. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to do the same exact thing using the white string, but we're going to put our tag ends on this end. So you're going to have the same thing on this that you did on this end on that end. And you're going to do 12 wraps just like I did. Okay, and that's 12. What we're doing here is I'm pulling it down. As you can see, I went around that screw. I'm going to pull it down even with the other tag in the original place that I started. We're going to just snip it off right there. Okay, now you're done with your bowstring materials. Now we got our, our, color stri our, our colors separated like so. We're going to go ahead, we're just going to twist up those tag ends and make sure they are, our all of our strands are tight. You want to look back through the string and make sure you don't have any loose ends. If you do, go ahead and just uh, work them out. Pull them through to the ends. We've got our actual, this is our bow string. So when this is all said and done, it's going to be your brand new black and white twisted awesome looking bow string. It's actually going to be mine. <laughs> Alright, but what we're going to do is, is you just make sure everything's separate like I said and then we're going to start to serve on one of the ends. And it doesn't really make a difference where you start on the end. We'll probably start down here on the solid point end. Okay, we take our string and we get it all bundled up here. We'll go ahead and start your serving around it. Leaving your tag in that's going to go under your serving. If you guys want to see how to do serving, there's a, I have a video for just the serving. It's going to teach you how to tie it. This is done the same way. This is just an end serving. There's no difference in the way it's done, except for there's a loop at the end done exactly like a center serving is. You take your old bowstring and you want to double check the loop on it to make sure that the loops 
are going to be the same. You don't want the loop to be too small because if you have a loop that big, you're not going to be able to get it over your peg. And if you have a loop that's really big like this, you know, way back here, it's going to be so big that it's, this is going to, this part of the serving could actually be in your cam. So you want to get it to be really close to exactly the length of your other serving. This one needs to go up just a little bit like so. Now it's still a little loose, so we got that ability to do it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and tighten down our, our serving jig, and we're going to get to spinning it out. Okay, we're getting near the end of where we need to have our serving at. And the reason we know that is, is I take the old string and I hook it on the screw down at the end and I get it to where I compare the servings together. And this is where you really have to go, okay, this is going to be the bottom of the string or the top of the string, whichever you want it to be. Um, but what I do is I just want to compare it so that they're both e equal. Now the one that I'm making is going to be a little bit longer once I tie the knot on there, but that's going to be okay too. Okay, then we're going to take and just do our serving knot and tie that dude off. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the serving, we're going to start, and we're going to go across to match the opposite end of the string. Last time, we matched that end of our, the bow string that we took off the bow. This time, we're going to match this end. And the nice thing about it is, this one here is pretty short. That just means it goes through not as much of the cam. So I'm going to go ahead and serve this real quick, just like I did the other end, and then, uh, We'll start on putting the other serving in for the idler wheel. Alright, now that we got that part cut, what we're going to do is we're going to reference our bow string. What I mean by that is we're going to find out where the other pieces of crucial serving go on the string. Because I shoot a single cam bow and there's always a piece in the middle that goes over your idler wheel at the top. So what we're doing is, is we're just going to leave the string in there like we have it now. Go ahead and take the short end that we just matched, put it over the screw, and you're going to run down this serving towards the other end. Okay, we're gonna match this up just like we did before. We're gonna come down here. And we're gonna see where it starts and where it stops. And I'm talking about this puppy's like 30 inches long almost. I mean, it's like, it really is. It just runs from, from way over here all the way over to there is that serving. And that's the part that goes over the outer wheel. I'm really not sure why it goes that far, but I'm going to make it the same because I've never had any problems. There's no point in changing it. I'm going to tell you right now, that was the marathon of servings right there. That, that serving part that goes over my idler wheel, I'm going to measure it just to see how long it is. The thing is 37 inches long. Now, I don't know why it's that long. Like I said before, I know that it's that's how long it is on my string. I just matched it. All you're basically doing is replicating your old string with a new string. Okay, now we've got all that serving on. We've got the two end servings on. we got our idler wheel serving on. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is we're doing a single cam bow. Those strings on those things are long, guys. Some of them are 120 inches long, and it's, it's a little difficult to do. I mean, I've been doing this for, you know, for years. I don't even know how long, and that uh, means I'm not going to tell you because then you'll be able to figure out how old I am. But uh, it, it, is, it is. It's a difficult string because you're looking at a long string. If you've got a, a double cam bow, a binary cam bow, anything out there like that, a lot of times those strings are 50, 60 inches. They're not as involved, and you don't have this string here. But you will have the end servings and your center serving. So, you know, you just want to replicate that by basically matching your old string as closely as you possibly can. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the lighter, and we're going to go along, and we're going to find all of our tag ends, and we're going to just singe them off and smash them down and make sure everything is hunky-dory there. Tag end here, this is on our end serving. We'll go ahead and just light that and burn it down. Whew. Smash it in, that's gonna help it stick. Little tag end sticking out yonder. Blow that one out. Kinda glue itself down that knot. The only thing really left to do is to do your center serving. That's going to be where you put your knock and your de-loop and stuff. But I always like to do that while I have the string on the bow. Go ahead and just take this off, release our ratchet strap. That's going to break our tension. It's going to release it. We can turn our board around and we can slide our, our string, our freshly made string, right off of there. And this is the part that I like to do. You just take it and you rub the string a little bit and then you go ahead and twist it. All right. And then that's going to give you your black and white twist. You know, it's going to look pretty cool. And 
I, you have to kind of twist it a little tight now because you're twisting a long string. And what's going to happen is, is inside that serving, after you start shooting it, it's going to twist a little bit more. But that gives you your black and white. You can see that thing's got some pretty cool contrast. It's pretty neat. Go ahead, when you're doing it now, while it's still hooked on the other end, and just take your tape measure and double check your length. You remember, you wanted it to be 98 and 5 eighths. So if we get it down to 98 and 5 eighths. Yep. Okay, before we move our, remove our bow press, we're going to go ahead and just make sure, double check, that you got that in the tracks. Everything looks good. Now, we're going to go ahead and slowly start backing out the Bowmaster. We're going to go ahead and get the center serving done. We're going to tie it in just like we did the other servings. And Like I said before, I keep referring back to that. If you guys don't know how to do serving, there's a video for that. It's the center serving video. Please check it out and it'll show you. That's pretty bad looking string right there. Black and white. Man, I tell you, can't get any better than the contrast of those colors. And that little short serving right here in the middle where my D loop's going to be tied on there. It's sweet looking. Definitely stand out in the crowd and make people realize you know what you're doing when you set up your new string. All right, guys. Well, thanks. I hope that tip helped you guys out. And remember, remember, if you decide on building your own string, you can pick up all the materials and the things that you need at bowtuningtips.com. Go down to the section there that says bow string building materials, and we've got everything there you need. Thanks, and stay tuned. I'll catch you guys next time with another great bow tuning tip. I'm out of here.